you run a company called Curve Detroit, and you, you've made the study of creativity almost your life work. Do you think creativity can be taught? I, I think there's it's science and art. Like I think you know, speaking is the same thing. We can we can train someone to be a great speaker, but if they don't have that charisma that you you have, you know, you go on stage and you just light up. Yeah, uh, that you can't teach, but I can teach you how you know. I can teach you persuasive speaking and, and those talents. I but think I creativity is the same thing. I can walk you through a creative be funny? process. But we can teach them how to write a joke. But again, it's art and science. You know, there are some funny people who don't have the discipline to be great because you know, gosh, they have their they have that quick wit and that charisma, but they don't they don't have the rules. We can teach people how to play guitar, but we can't teach people how to write a hit song. That that's that edge, right? That creativity piece. Well, I see it a lot. In, so in uh, you know, we do a lot of uh, graphic design work. And I have worked with uh, some art directors who are just technically, you know, they know Photoshop and Illustrator and have pixel precision of anything you want to do, but they don't have the eye. Yeah. And then I, I have met people who have a great eye, but don't have the physical skills that really you need art and science on so many things, medicine, teaching. How many brilliant people have you met that, you know, can't teach because they they can't connect with the audience. That yeah. all those things, art and science, art and science. Where does create? Where does uh, curiosity come in? Well, I, I think that's one of the the key building blocks of the creativity, at least for me. I think I think creativity for me comes down to curiosity and cross pollination. You have to be. You have to want to dive in. I, I am one of my greatest weaknesses is also one of my strengths. Wikipedia is my crack cocaine. I go on Wikipedia to search one thing and seven hours later, I'm naked and alone reading about Alice in Wonderland because everything, you know, you just hypertext takes you down the path. But because I'm curious on, I get all these different connections in my brain. Yeah. And so when I'm talking to a doctor about a problem they're trying to solve, all these different connections that I've cross pollinated through my curiosity can come back and give a new idea. Because there are a lot of, in the creative uh, business that I'm in, there are a lot of people who I've made one good widget, now I'm just gonna swap up a logo and sell it again and again and again. That old adage of when you sell uh, hammers, everything looks like a nail. Uh, I, I definitely take a much more bespoke approach to creativity where I wanna, you know, I would say, tell me the business goal, the audience and the budget, and then we can come up with a solution rather than walking in and saying, you need a TV ad, yeah. which is you know a standard solution that people will sell. So sometimes it's me. a TV ad, and sometimes it's a truck, sometimes it's a, a website, yeah. anything. You remind me, uh, I don't read the newspaper like I used to. I, nobody reads the newspaper like they used to. <laughs> but back in the day, you know, you'd open up to the, to the front page and I would, do, I would do this thing like they did in that beautiful mind, Russell Crowe, in the Ron Howard movie where he's writing in the glass window and he's making all these connections, you know, how is this connected to this? You see the weather in the upper right corner and then there's an economic thing down here because certain economic cycles follow cold weather, for example, but you'd never see that connection unless you were, you know, curious about it and looking into it. And then this, this story over here is connected to this one down here. That's kind of how life is, isn't it? Not just every day, but Wikipedia is a great example. Stuff that's happening on Wiki is directly related to everything that's happening in that article. It's it's an amazing. Well, way. how many how many times have you been reading a novel or watching a show, and you'll stop and make a note to yourself, like, oh, this would be a great topic for my. Here's an analogy I can use in my talk. Yeah. Well, this notebook. So it's, it's it's providing yourself with with fresh inputs. Fresh inputs all the time are going to yield new topics. Yeah. new innovations for your company, new promotions.